Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me looking at Q3 of the weekly contest 330. Put marbles in bag. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this prompt. This one I actually thought was pretty difficult as well. Um, I think this entire contest has kind of been weird. But but the way that you, to think about it is, I, th I think it took me a long time to, because I was honestly also just thinking a lot about dynamic programming, etc. But when you look at constraints, uh, given that 10 is, is 10 to the fifth, it is to, you know, n squared is not going to be fast enough. So basically, the idea behind this problem is that, um, let me draw it out, which is why I have this. Um, and, I'm, and, you know, you can write a lot of numbers, but, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to, uh, whatever. But, I don't know, I'm just writing random numbers, but or, or odd for some reason. Hmm. But uh and or hmm. but the idea here is that okay, let's say you have to make one um well the two problems, right? What one one is that you have to make uh K fingers, right? So first observation to notice is that you know the one and the eleven has to be in the answer, right? If you have only if K is equal to one then you know you have to take the entire way and one of the 11 is going to be in it let's say you know just for for testing let's say we divided it here well the one and the 11 will still be in it so we can start by doing that and then the second part is that okay now now how how do we choose where to to um to add the division right um and the short answer is greedy the idea here is that okay we look at every every um let's say we cut everywhere right or Let's say we, we cut one place, and we can do it any place, right? Let's just say here. What does this mean? Um, that means that, well, one is going to be added to the answer, and seven is going to be added to the answer. Let's say we do it again here. What does this mean? Uh, three is going to be added to the answer, and five is going to be added to the answer. So that's, that's basically the core basis of my solution, which is that, okay, now let's do it in a greedy way. Can I undo enough? close enough I suppose um, because then now we look at the spaces and we have to make cuts right so um, I think K is the number of segments so then for K minus for for K um, so we have to make K minus one cuts right and basically if we establish that you know if we cut here or before cut here will cost eight Cut here will cost six. Cut here will cost eight. Uh, just ignore this thingy. Cut here will cost sixteen. Cut here is eleven and thirteen. Then in that case, um, we just the two things, right? One is we're, we're trying to maximize the cost. Well, if we're trying to maximize the cost, then we just take the the max k minus one elements, and then and then sum it. If, if we want to try to minimize the cuts, then the same thing, except for we we take this k minus one's uh, smallest element instead. And there are a couple of ways you could do um, implement this. Um, the way that I did it is by sorting. Uh, um, so like I, so I look at every adjacent uh, uh, adjacent numbers, I put it into an array, I sort it, and then, yeah, like, I guess I actually don't need to do this because in both the min and the max, you have, you know, you have to subtract them from each other. But for correctness, um, you know, that's what I, what I did. So the min starts with the edges and the, also the max starts with the edges. And then the min, we, we uh, in a sorted array, we go from the beginning and then from the from the max array, we go from the end, meaning the, the, the k minus one biggest number and the k minus one smallest number. And then we just take the delta between them. Uh, and that's pretty much it. This is going to be n log n due to the sorting and O of n space. You can actually use O of n log k because well, you know, using a heap, you could just get the n uh, or k min numbers and k max numbers. So you don't need all of n log n, but, you know, this is my uh, contest code. So, yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and you could watch me solve a live in contest now. This is a disaster already. That's such a weird problem that I, I get confused. This is the kind of code force problem that I'm really bad at, so I guess... <sighs> More of that, but yeah, should have looked at constraints.
Mm, number K. K bag, such that no bag is empty. I and J. If I and J subarray, basically. If a bag consists of all modular and I inclusive, then okay. The score is distributing. What is this? I think this is a Q3, but I think I skipped it by accident. But I still, let's do it then. So basically, you're dividing into K different bags of subarray. K is equal to 2. Oh wait, I misunderstood this. The maximum score. Okay. So the maximum score. Hmm. Wow, this is kind of hard. So, get the minimum score, and how do I get the minimum score? This is a hard contest. Maximum score. I don't even know how to get maximum score. Maximum score is, well, one of them has to be on the ends, ideally. I don't know that I know how to do this one. Hmm. Do I merge? It's not a binary, oh wait, it, can it be binary search? No, I don't know. I don't think so. Binary search greedy. No, because they're independent. Hmm. Kind of stopping on this one. This is only a, this is not Q4, right? This is only Q3. Just DP then, right? No, because then you have K. <coughs> How do we keep track of K if we DP? Wow, I just like really bad today, maybe. I don't know how to do the K thing because N square. Maybe the way is to consider for the minimum score, we want to remove it one at a time, maybe. And then, no, then because we're moving this, would you consider the removal? Hmm.
This is going to be a wow. People already gotten it, and they didn't skip Q2 like I did by accident. Basically, one, three, five, one. Let's say max, right? Then we're gonna put five, but then I don't know. Wow, I am just getting destroyed today. People are getting it, so. and I only got Q one and didn't even do that in a good time. So okay, focus, focus, focus. Can we do some sort of merging? Say one three five one, right? If we do a merge, k is equal to two, and we do five one, and then we do six. I don't get it. I don't get this one. Hmm. I have a lot of DP, but no. Okay, what does K backs mean? So the maximum score. Okay, so we have to remove the edges and then, or not. Mm, so for the maximum score, you return the edges and then you kind of just. Because then if it's in one bag, it has to be. So the max would be just like the sum of eight. So okay, so you have two plus ten. So then you do one division. Then the min of those one division. Okay. I think this is a hard one to be honest, but um, <clears throat> I don't know if this is right either. Right. And basically for two, you want one number, right? So that means that we Sort those are the case. Mm. This is K minus one. Hmm, well, we got the six part right. Is that not right? Is that yeah? Okay, four and zero. Okay, maybe I just did something weird. 
was very bad at that anyway. That was a hard one. All right, let's do Q2, you and I. Oh. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's uh, explanation. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.